Hey guys, are you not sure who to main? Well today, we're gonna find out if you should main Antonio. So originally, I wanted to make this video a couple weeks ago, but I knew he was getting a slight adjustment, so I wanted to wait on that, just so I could give, you know, an updated version of my thoughts on him. So when I first joined, I, other than Robbie, the other hunters that I started practicing, you know, a little bit to myself, were what I called my veteran hunters, so like my other, my other top three that I played all the time were Anne, Lucino, and Antonio. So, Antonio was like one of the last couple hunters that I decided to get S-Patch with. I waited on getting S-Patch with him for a while, just because compared to the other two, he seemed a little bit more difficult in the sense that like, yes, I, I was okay with him, but I needed to be a bit more consistent with my strings, as well as Antonio also just kind of relies a lot on predicting survivor's movements. So, if you're predicting that they're going to go to the left and you do a string and you hit them, awesome but on the other side that they might run keep running straight or they might go to the right you have like a one in three chance of hitting them it mostly mattered on how well i thought i could do with antonio but overall it just kind of took me a second before i finally was comfortable playing him consistently so i got s badge with him i think i placed like sixth or fifth the highest with him but he was a hunter that i put a lot of time into so today i'm just gonna kind of go over you know just like my overall thoughts on him I do think that he's a little weak, you know, he, just in this current meta, he mostly just struggles with his chase, his camp isn't really the best. Overall, like in all areas, whether it's like map pressure, chasing, camping, cypher pressure, there's just, he doesn't really have a whole lot going for him in each category, so it kind of just... It's just really difficult to work with him, especially right now with this kiting harassing team comp, or with this harassing kiting meta, it's just really difficult to play him. I've been getting hospital a lot. I was playing a couple matches earlier. For Antonio, you can have a senior match. Um, since we are in hospital, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Merc and Priestess. I don't want Priestess portals just helping out people with their kites as well as transitioning on this map, especially on this map. Hospital is one of, if not my worst map to play on. So I'm just trying to take extra precaution. And then I'm banning Merc, even though he also recently just got adjusted. And still, if I double hit him, literally if I were to double hit anybody else at the chair, they would die. But with Merc, he gets a delayed hit, so that's still very like damaging to Antonio's camping. Here I have to deal with Journalist now though, which is also a little bit unfortunate because with Journalist, she uses her little mini Orpheus, to, she can use a little mini Orpheus to save once, but still that requires me to either hit him or to use my ability to get rid of him. Fortunately though, with Antonio, I can farm the person right away with my string when the little mini Orpheus saves. And here my build, this is pretty much just like my standard. I don't really bring confine on him just because if they bolt a window I can use my string to knock them down. I have a bit of stun resistance stuff for um, any harassers. In this case I don't really have to deal with that much so I'm actually going to change this up a bit. I'm going to put um, wanted order instead and then I will have one on berserk. Here they're already picking some weird spawns. So with this team comp I actually have a little bit of versatility on who I can chase after. I could go after perfumer but my the thing with Perfumer is my notes have to really be accurate. The thing that Antonio struggles with the most is, like I said, like even though he's weak in all the categories of the game, I think what hurts him the most is your chase. So if you are just not having a good start, if you're not hitting your strings, or you're not able to basically corner them with your strings and then follow up with like a regular hit, you're not really going to get that far. And one of the reasons I view him as one of the more weaker hunters in that game, he doesn't have anything that guarantees you to hit someone, it's more so just about how effective you can be with him in terms of like your playstyle and stuff. So here I'm just going to take a guess that she's like right here just based on walking, not able to get a quick hit. Again, I don't even see her tracks, I think she just walked- oh, okay yeah no she went around. So. I kind of just tossed out that first note just to scare her. Here she's going to walk through it and kind of get slowed down. Here, if she throws down this pallet, she'll get hit. So I'm kind of just preventing her from going through it. She ends up just walking in it. Perfumes it, though. I end up getting another hit on her, so it works out. Good perfumer on her timing. It's just she didn't really have anything to go off of that. Now I have my half presence, which is able to speed down survivors. Which, is again, is also pretty helpful. But still, if they're kind of just off like in the distance, it's also just going to be pretty hard to work with this. And here she's going to try and avoid my note. It wasn't pushed back all the way, so she was able to kind of get away. Here I want to force her 
to go back outside, but she's not gonna do it. And here she's actually gonna put another perfumer down. I'm not stupid. Okay, I waited just in case. I don't wanna go back because it's a trap. And then here, missed it, but it's okay. Follow up with a blink. Okay, so overall as a down, it wasn't that bad. Definitely could have been a little bit quicker, but it's why it's important to be as accurate as you can. Because even though they're vaulting a pallet or they're walking through, the hitbox of the note is very small. So if you're not, if, if the note isn't actually as accurate as it can be, you're most likely not going to hit that survivor. So it's just a little unfortunate. Here with this half presence, you are able to kind of throw notes at ciphers just to slow them down a bit and reduce their decoding. But even then, you still have to, it takes time to just angle your camera correctly and just be in the right position. So it's almost essentially, I don't want to say useless, but it doesn't really provide that much. And here she's just kind of waiting. They added a thing where you can't cancel your note and it goes on to better cooldown. Here, I'm just going to farm. Or actually, no. Wow, she took too long, so she's actually after half. GG's. And here, I'm just going to do this. Movement's a bit off. Frame rate's also a bit off. She can't believe it, neither can I. Okay, well now this perfume is just dead. I have full presence now, so I'll be able to work with it. I think she realized that I was just kind of waiting for her to throw off the mini Orpheus so I could farm her, but in doing so, she took too long, and I have I have max control freak for the chair, so it speeds up the chair countdown. I have that for a lot of my double hit hunters, just because it's really good at forcing survivors to come early when they don't want to, or it just forces them to make a decision pretty much like on the spot. In this case, with journalist, she wasn't able to kind of plant out. I think she wanted to drag that out for my for my note to go away, but it ended up backfiring since she waited too long as a result. Here, let's see. I don't want to be inside hospital, but I'm not really by any other ciphers that are being worked on, at least as far as I can see at the moment. I'm going to try and leave just to see these other two. I don't think anyone's right there. Yeah, no. So the other two ciphers are at Shaq forest and then whichever one's right here this cypher is pretty much almost done so i don't need to worry about it too too much journalist actually ends up walking into me and i think with her i'm just gonna go ahead and go after her since she is i am kind of by majority of the other two cyphers over here so i don't know which one's like the last one and here she ends up taking a hit because she vaulted through the thing good body block I just decide to go for it. She won't get too, too far because she has max um, notes on her. I might use my blink right here. No, I don't think I have to. So here I'm just going to pressure her. Again, she tried to time it. And here I'm actually going to make Orpheus waste his palette. Fight this cypher. Basement's not here, so that is a little bit unfortunate. Let's see. Uh, I think he might shock me. No. Okay. Yeah, so I am, in this area, I am by the last two ciphers, as well as the one that's over here in Forest. I'm assuming Forest might be the last one, because I don't think the other two have any progress on them. So after I chair her, I'm going to go ahead and just pressure Luca, since this cipher is almost done. Yeah, okay, there it goes. It just popped. Now, I kind of just have to wait, because I don't think those two ciphers are going to get worked on. Here comes Cheerleader. I'm waiting in case they both decide to double save. Here, predict the movements. Just kind of force her. I'm just going to block her a little bit because she still be slowed down. And here, just got to be really patient. Now. Nope. Still a second off. Trying to knock her down. That missed. I'm switching to cheerleader because I really need to be by the last cypher and I don't want her getting the speed boost to kind of just like run away. So I'm actually going to chair over by Lucas cypher now and I'll keep journalists. I like I'll keep an eye just on all of them. I don't want to get too too close because he'll just shock me and that chair's already gone. So I'm kind of just forced here. What I am going to do though. Oh, she wasn't ready. Okay. Here, I'm just gonna kind of slug. Just make sure that she gets after half. After half. Predicted wrong. Oh, wait till she gets to the window and follow up with my blink. 
because that cipher won't be ready in time. And here I'm going to walk this way because I think Journalist is going to pick herself up. So I'm going to pretend to chair, wait for her to get up. No? Okay. Damn it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I should have committed. I should have committed. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, no, it's fine. Luke is most likely going to pop it in a second. No, it's still not ready. And he can't use these pallets or anything. I think they were a little bit behind on the Cypher progress just because um, since she farmed the Perfumer earlier... Nice flywheel. Since she per uh, farmed the Perfumer earlier, they were kind of behind on Cyphers, and then she went to go get healed. So that also kind of delayed them a little bit. There's only so much Aluka can do in the match. You kind of have to, you know, expect your teammates to do the rest of the work, as well as, like, you putting in your part as, like, on top of that. So now... I mostly just have to look for journalists. I don't see anything moving. I'm just gonna check around for dungeon because I actually don't know where it's at. Is she at? Oh, she is. She's at the cipher. Okay. I'm just gonna slow her down with my notes. She can't really do anything here. Okay, I thought she'd go for it. Uh huh. I dare you to go back. Yeah, you just trapped yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the GGs. Um, so keep in mind, I've been playing Antonio for a very long time, and my predictions with him—they're not, you know—they're not always accurate. Sometimes they are, and it's great. Sometimes they're not. But it's mostly just about being patient with your notes, as well as just wanting to place them. Because you can't always, like, I don't know if you remember at the beginning of the match where Perfumer. Like, she made it look like she was leaving the pallet, but then she circled right back. I didn't throw my note out right away until I actually saw what she was doing, which allowed me to get that hit right away. But with Antonio, like I said, he's really slow sometimes, and if you're not able to just- It really just depends on how your early game goes. If you're not able to get those hits in, then you're pretty much looking at, like, a tie or a loss, just because if you can't get the ball rolling right away, it pretty much just determines the rest of your match. As unfortunate as that is, it- Like I said, he is mostly just- he mostly just revolves around, like, predicting movements and just being aware and patient. So if you can get that part down, then sure, by all means, you can use him. Now, I don't think he's that bad of a character. I do think he is pretty weak among all the other hunters in the roster. And in fact, I think on my tier list, I put him in C tier, and I still kind of stand by that. With Antonio, too, if you want to get- in my opinion, if you want to get better with him, you should try using peepers just so you can get familiar with the timing of your strings. And I don't know if y'all noticed, but the way I toss out my strings, instead of putting the first one in front of you, and then tossing out the second one, I make the first one go far away. That way, when I put my second note down, I can just drop it. Your notes will come out faster. Because if you spend time trying to drag out each note so it can line up, you're it, like they're going to have enough time to react to that and basically avoid it. Which is why you toss the first note, and then with the second note, you just place it down just so you, you can get like a more effective hit and a quicker hit without having to worry about like the delayed hit. I love Antonio, don't get me wrong, but I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't think he's worth learning in the long run, only because there's a lot of better options now. He's kind of what I like to call a forgotten hunter, just because the, you don't really see them a whole lot in rank that much, unless you're, you know, like a baby, baby survivor, baby hunter. But there's not really a whole lot you can learn from him too. He's mostly just like a hunter that is kind of weak and you don't like you don't really gain anything from learning him because you could like you can make the argument oh well what if learning him like playing him teaches you patience if you want to learn about patience i'd say probably play ripper at most i mean you can't really there's not really anything to gain from playing antonio other than if you like the character don't get me wrong i love him to death i really do but he's just not that good he's pretty weak in all categories all around camping chasing pressure just it, it's not really worth learning him if that makes sense so for all those reasons i'm gonna go ahead and give him the c ranking just because i think that if you wanted to play a double hit hunter you know there are some better options there's a lot more that you could learn from other characters that are slightly you know above his ranking in terms of playstyle and how aggressive you can be antonio even though he's not really a slow hunter it's just because he relies a whole lot on like predicting movements and reading movements there's only there's only so much you can do with him but because you need to have a great early game if your early game isn't the best and if you're not really accurate with your notes you're pretty much looking at it always like a guaranteed three man at most sometimes the tie if you're lucky or if the survivors just mess up 
but it's also how well you can pressure people with him. And I think if you were to do that, there's a lot of better characters that you could benefit from playing rather than Antonio. Now, keep in mind, if you've been playing Antonio for a minute, and if you really like him, by all means, keep going. Like, I'm not, I'm not telling y'all not to play them. I'm just saying, in the long run, if you're looking for somebody to, like, gain something out of, whether it's, like, game experience or, you know, playstyles or being, like, just having a good character in your pocket, I don't really think Antonio is that character. I just, I... I only play him because I've been playing him for a long time, and I view him as one of my more better hunters compared to some of the other characters that I play. But by all means, you know, if you're having fun with him, if you really love him, go for it. Like I, this is not to this is not to tell you. I'm not here to tell you guys don't play this character. This character's trash. No, I'm just giving my honest thoughts about the character for you know long term gameplay as well as just if you're planning on like other than rank, I don't really see a point in playing him. You know, I don't really see him being that effective in tournaments unless it's just like a really good Antonio player, you know? But yeah, there's not really just a whole lot you can- there's not really a whole lot you can learn from him. That's honestly just where I stand. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel bad for hurting one of my mains, but you know, I, honesty is the best policy. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.